All right, hey, Riley here from becomingintelectrician.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about a really cool way to bond uh, insulated bond, all right? So uh, many times when we have insulated bond, sometimes we have to strip in between and we can wrap that around our bond screw and then it still allows us to have a pigtail without making a pigtail, all right? I wanna talk about that in that in this video. Okay, so before we get into this video, definitely check out my free book I have for you guys. Just go to becomingandelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. It's gonna help you as you are an apprentice electrician out there, okay? All right, so I first wanna start with this wire. So you can see here that this actually is not insulated, right? This is a bare bond wire. And if we're talking about a wire, you can see that this is a 14-2, all right? So the reason why it's 14-2 is because there's actually two insulated conductors, and then this is the bond. As you can see right here, I have a full set of wires, right? So this is a red, black, all right, so red, black, blue, and then a, a neutral wire, a white, and we have our bond wire, and it is insulated. Okay, so let's say that our wire is in our box, and the problem is, is if we strip it up here, like this, what's gonna happen is we have to splice on another wire and then bond it. And it's kind of an annoying workflow thing, okay? So what we can be doing is check out this cool little trick. So if you are ever pulling fire alarm cable, this is what you often do. We're gonna go about here and I'll make a, a little, you know, I'll, I'll strip it there and then we will strip it about here, okay? You know, you, you, you wanna make it pretty big because um, it's just gonna allow you to wrap it around the bond screw and then this you can displace onto. So it saves you a lot of time and I just use my knife after. And that's why I always like uh, the X-Acto knife here. Uh, so I made my two strips and you're just gonna put this in and you're just gonna gently just uh, cut the wire. All right, and then so once it's from here, what I would usually do is I take my strippers and I can uh, just take this off and you can see. But so now if we're gonna bond our wire, again, we always put it clockwise, okay? I will just uh, kind of get it ready. I usually like to kind of bend it a little bit. So it's kind of like that, all right? Makes it a little bit easier. I could have made it more even. But yeah, I usually just kind of bend it something like this. And again, that's why you want it a little bit longer. So it does get a good wrap around the screw. And we'll just do that. All right, so just to finish this off, so many times I just hold this down, get my strippers, just, just gently, it doesn't have to be too intense. But now you have a nice bond on there and then you just tighten it down. And that's it, all right? It has made a nice bond for you and then you have a, a pigtail, all right? This way you don't have to splice on like, you know, extra wires. If you had another wire in here that's continuing on, now you only have two wires to splice rather than having three wires and it goes onto the bond. And then I just wanted to quickly make this video to show you this cool little trick because I wanted to put it into an article on the website there. So definitely go check out the website. There's tons and tons of valuable articles in addition to these videos and always feel free to reach out, okay? So again, don't forget about my free book I have for you guys for apprentice electricians. Just go to becomingandelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. Sign up with your name and email and I'll send you the book for free. All right, thanks for checking out this video. This is a cool little trick when it is bo uh, insulated bond wire. You just make two incisions with your strippers. Make sure that it is quite long, you know what I mean? Like so for maybe from here to here and it's just gonna make it easier. This is actually a pretty clean install. If it's, you know, you don't want it to be super tight because what happens is the, the insulation goes underneath the bond screw and it's really annoying. And then it's even harder to remove it afterwards. So if you just go a little bit longer than what you think, uh, you're gonna get a nice good install just like this. And then you have a pigtail which you can splice onto making your life a lot easier. Okay, thanks for checking out the video. Check out uh, other videos I have here on YouTube, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.